Hello students, I am back with a one more video of my lecture on the semiconductors. This time it is on the biasing of the transistors and I have already covered the fixed base type biasing, fixed base register biasing and now I will be covering a different type of biasing that is called the voltage divider method. Why it is called voltage divider? Because there are two registers here. As in the previous fixed register was this register only and here in the voltage divider method we have added one more register that is R2. Here we have added one more register that is R2 in addition to the fixed base register type. This R2, R1 and R2 divide the voltages in two parts. That means this VC is split into V1 here and V2 here. And this RC is the collector load, collector resistance and this RE is given here for the stabilization. We will find out how it is acting in stabilization. Now here it is VCE and here it is VE. And one more voltage is there. This is VVE. Voltage here at R2, if we follow this path, what we get is that V2, V2 is equal to, V2 is equal to VCC R2 upon R1 plus R2. So, this is the voltage here. And how it helps, we will find out very quickly. So, what we saw is that this V2 is independent of the collector current. If the collector current changes, then also this V2 will not be affected because in this expression the IC is not there in the picture. And now, what will be the value of IC? Let's first follow this path. VCC is equal to ICRC plus VCE plus IRE IERE Now this IE and IC are nearly same. So, I can be written as IC. So, it becomes VCCE plus IC into RC plus RE. So, now VC is VC is equal to VCC minus IC RC plus RE. So this is one point of the operating point VC. And And what is IC? 
Let's see. We come across this path. I show you how much. Here, V2 will be, suppose, this. Here, V2, V2 will be equal to VBE plus RE, IE, RE. This I R E, R E can be almost same as I C. So it will be equal to V B E plus I C R E. So what is I C? I C is equal to V two minus V B E upon R E. V2 is the voltage drop here. Why only time we are calculating these values of IC and VCE? Because these are the two parameters on which it will depend whether the amplification will be correctly done or not. Because this IC is the zero signal collector current. And we see here it is to establish the correct biasing because this we see should not fall below certain level so that this emitter base is for bias and the base collector is reverse bias. So for that we see is required. It should not fall below certain values. And I see is to establish the zero signal collector current. So that is why always I C and V C E are to be found out. So that is why it is to be calculated. Now how this circuit can be stable, how it is stabilized? The stabilizing component is the RE, which is connected at the emitter side. The result band is that if supposing by temperature rise or by change in the parameters of the transistor or changing of the transistor takes place. If the IC increases, let's say the IC, IC increases, then here the drop across I, RE, it will also increase. But we have seen that the voltage drop across RE and VBE, they make up the V2. Here, V2, V2 here is same as from here to from base to the ground. So V2 is VBE plus ICRE. Now how it is stabilizing is that this V2 we had found out that V2 was equal to VCC. R2 upon R1 plus R2. That means V2 is not depending upon the any differences arising in the IC. So this V2 will remain constant. But what this V2 is equal to? V2 is equal to the sum of voltage drop in the emitter resistance and the VBE. 
So, if this V2 is to remain constant, if this is to remain constant, then any rise, because we have to write it like this, V2 is equal to VPE plus I R E. Now, as this V2 in this side is constant, irrespective of the changes in the IC, that means this has to be fixed either by this increasing and this decreasing or by this increasing or the and this decreasing. So, if this value is increased, I R E is increased, then this has to come down. Once this V B comes down, the base current comes down. Base current comes down means the collective current automatically comes down. So, what is so is that an increase in the collective current, it automatically resulted in the restoration of its original value of current to the original value from it has this RE has stopped the current collector current from increasing. So this RE is acting as a stabilizing register. So this voltage divider method is largely used and that is the reason why this voltage divider method is used. It is a very popular and common method for the biasing of the amplifiers and the transistors. If you have any queries then you can mail me in my mail address that is gk sovereign 2 at the red gmail.com or you can subscribe to my channel in which you will be finding new topics of discussions like this which might, might be of interest for you.